The court is now in session. Please be seated. Today, we're going to be presented with two stories, each one important as each other. Stories that claim that ordinary people, through love, through care, and through pure perseverance, transform the lives of others. It is for us here today present to judge the truth in these claims. Would the first defendant please introduce themselves? I'm Elaine and I'm here to talk about a time that was a really dark time for me, a dark place to be in, a place I'd never thought I'd ever get out of. Sorry. Please. See some ID, please. We've had a phone call from a lady called Lane. Yeah, that's me, Quinn. Hello, my name's PC Jessup. You're Elaine. Um, we received a call from you today. Could you please tell me why you've um, called us out today? I just started over something or nothing. He just started arguing with me. I asked him to leave because I didn't want my kids hearing him shouting and he went worse and then he, he hit me to the head. Hi, I've just come back from a domestic violence case. I've just come back from looking after a lady. Unfortunately, this happens on a daily basis. Two to three women are killed and murdered a week by their ex-partner or partner. My job is to go in, get the statement and come out. These women are absolutely terrified. No matter how many times I go out, five, six, seven times, this time could be the time that woman leaves. So how's it going? All right, it's been hard. It still is hard, I'm not over it yet. You don't help, he's on phone messaging and stuff all the time. Is he? You need to ring the police? No, oh, yeah, I've been doing, I've been telling him every step of the way. That injunction's there, so. I really don't want to go back there, I don't. I need all my family around me and friends. But you say this all the time and then you go back. Yeah, but you don't understand what he's like with me. Mm. You know, he makes me feel like I'm the one that's in the wrong, like I deserve it. We're here to back you 110%, but you've got, to, you've got to mean it. You've got to stay away from him. I will do, I promise. Promise? I promise, just be okay. there for me. I don't know whether she's going to stick at this. She'll probably end up going back, but fingers crossed, she'll, she'll stay strong this time and it's the end. All right, sis. It's all right. How's it going? How, how's the kids been? Monkeys, as per usual. And that's about right for them, isn't it? Yeah. It's so been good. six months now. She's not yeah. gone back. Don't know how to get away. Yeah. yeah. What was she talking about? Oh, Did that payment and course I got on. So is that every day, Summer? Um, it's once a week yeah. um, for six hours. Six hours? Yes. Yeah, I get hours. stuck with the monkeys for six hours. You offered. Yeah, Couldn't definitely. Couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. I know, well, we're all really proud of you. No, oh, thanks, sis. That means a lot. Oh. I'm all sweaty and you've just cuddled me. You see, Your Honour, not everybody's got someone round them like I had. I had my family round me to pick me up when I was down. And they brought me through this. I couldn't have done it without them. Thank you for giving your evidence and sharing your story with us today. You may now be seated. We now turn to our second defendant. Please step forward. Introduce yourself and tell us why you are here. Hi, Emma. I'm here today to talk about how the refuge saved me. It turned my life around, and it still continues to do. Making the first step is always the hardest, but once you have, you'll change your life. Hiya, you must be Emma. Yeah. Hi Emma, I'm Rachel, I'm a peer mentor. Lovely to meet you. I'm going to take you through to the refuge manager now and you'll be fine, you're safe now. This is Amy, she's our refuge manager. Amy, this is Emma, she's just come in today. Hi, I'm Amy Emma, uh, welcome. I just want to start off, you know, asking you, you know, what brought you here? Um, my partner attacked me yesterday. I'm sorry to hear about that. You know, how are you feeling right now? I don't really know what's going on. A bit scared. Yeah, that's understandable. You know, you're in a safe place. 
you know, and you've got loads of support from, you know, me, my team and, you know, peers, peer mentors. We've seen a new lady come in today, Emma. She was really scared, really nervous, but that's natural for any woman that's coming into a refuge, be it the first time or the third time, etc. She's going to do OK. You know, I've seen women all the time, they come and go, and they do all right in the end. There's loads of support out there for them. There's the Women's Centre, the Freedom Programme, the Lava Group. She's going to be fine. I'm really pleased for Emma that she's moving on. I mean, when she first came in here, she was upset, but now she's starting a new life for herself and we're going to remain friends because we've grown quite close. So, yeah, I'm really happy for her. Even though I'm still here, I'm just happy for everyone that moves on and makes a better life for themselves compared to what life they had before. I'm excited, but I'm a bit nervous as well. Yeah. You're going to be, going to be aren't you? But at least... You get your life sorted out now, aren't you? Don't forget to ring me tonight. I won't. All right, speak to you soon, babe. All right. Thank and you. You'll be fine. You've got all your support plan in place now, so you know where you're up to, and you can ring any time if you need any support. And I'll go at Women's Hand next yeah, week. Yeah, that's brilliant. All right, thank you, Rachel. You're very welcome. Good luck. Thank and all you. the best for the future. Bye. 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 I feel completely different now that I'm leaving the refuge than I did when I arrived. When I arrived, I was terrified. I didn't know what to expect what it was going to be like. Well, now I'm leaving. I will leave with friends, but I'll leave with a better sense of who I am. The most important thing I've learned since I've been here is to actually like myself. Um, and that it's okay to be me. So we've heard the evidence and the stories presented to us today. We've heard two stories of ordinary people who do extraordinary things. We've heard how different places, different people, support and become heroes. Who are we to judge? What we do know is that there is a community out there for you. This concludes today's session. It gives you a place to be safe, to grow, and to be encouraged. I think that's why the refuge my superhero.